What will happen with your comments from today as well as the additional comments that will be sent to you? How and when will they reach the minister? Well, uh, we are concerned about the timelines. Uh, the deadline of uh, the 15th, we believe, is too short. You cannot give um, a two-week window for public comment on such a, a groundbreaking um, police initiative. Uh, we believe it's a bit unfair, but we as a Black Business Council will submit something to the Minister on a preliminary basis and with a promise that um, in the short term we'll give a much more substantive detail. Uh, our intention is to give comment rather than to uh, uh, not. We will comply with the 15th of uh, September. Did any of the audience's suggestions today particularly stand out for you? Well, some of the uh, uh, suggestions, especially from the, uh, from the IT sector, um, are quite um, you know, incisive. For example, a couple of uh, weeks ago, just anything up to two months, there was um, come a, a release of a, 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 a statement from the Minister of Telecommunications. Um, around the matter of spectrum. So what we expect now is that uh, ICASA will come up with the rules on how they will go about it, uh, including auctioning a part and allocating a, a portion of the spectrum to uh, the WOAN, W-O-A-N. Um, what this policy um, statement from uh, the Minister of uh, Finance um, really is saying it's, it's flying against that kind of uh, direction. So, and uh, our uh, you know, experts on telecommunications are identifying that uh, almost immediately, so some clarity needs to be provided. And number two, it is our firm belief as a Black Business Council that uh, a need to achieve a transformed society um, in all spheres, including the economy, uh, cannot be suspended just because of an economic crisis. Um, you can resolve crises without forsaking empowerment. So it is a sense that we are getting that um, this policy uh, relegates empowerment into uh, a second thought, uh, or if not into non-importance. And we want to uh, obviously um, express our strong objection to that uh, and indeed um, it was picked up from the floor. You mentioned earlier that many stakeholders were excluded in creating the first draft of the economic growth plan. Why do you think this is and do you foresee this exclusion remaining a problem with future policies and plans? Well I think there's a, 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 an accepted um, convention in South Africa that um, um, everything that it achieves greater acceptance uh, and traction must be people-centered. Uh, this is an attempt by Minister of uh, Finance to uh, achieve inclusion in terms of developing thoughts, um, but it's, it doesn't go far enough. Uh, if there are some stakeholders who would have believed that such would have come first and foremost through the NEDLEC process, which is inclusive of labor, business and uh, organs of civil society, including youth um, and uh, uh, civic organizations, then, you know, they've probably got a valid point that uh, uh, you cannot take this to logical conclusion uh, without channeling it through that format. Um, and our belief is that there is no consultation which is perfect because the outcomes still will never achieve total acceptance in any case. So um, we are reasonably happy with this being thrown at us. We are just concerned about uh, the timelines, that uh, two weeks is just too short. Um, we have so much to offer uh, on paragraph one up to the last paragraph of that document. And um, we'll do our damnness best, but um, um, you know, we cannot achieve that by Friday in its totality. So our view is that, um, you know, if we are a microcosm of um, what could be elsewhere taking place um, in the society, 
we feel that there are some constituencies who may feel that the time for consultations is not good enough, is not uh, sub, uh, sufficient, and therefore uh, they may feel um, maligned um, and um, alienated from the process, which basically weakens the argument around effective consultation. And uh, the minister needs to take that um, to heart and do something about it. Thank you.